We're just learning things so much during the commercial break. Okay, welcome back to the chat. This year, it's been a big one for the Jacksonville Symphony Orchestra with a new music director and plans to grow fans within the community. They are now rounding off the year and bringing in a new year with a big New Year's Eve event. Joining us now are two of the musicians from the show, Louis Bremer and Anthony Anurka. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. This is so exciting because you're not 80. You know? <laughs> <laughs> when you think of the symphony, you think, you know, oh, people, and this is, but you really, you both are the fresh face of the Jacksonville Symphony Orchestra. Tell us yes. how you got involved in the orchestra. Yes, well, I am from Jacksonville. I grew up in Jacksonville Beach, Florida, and I started playing uh, bassoon at Fletcher Middle School. And then wow. I went to Douglas Anderson School of the Arts and continued to study. And then I went to college and got my bachelor's. and kept playing bassoon and orchestras around the southeast and in Kansas City. And so you were playing bassoon instead of surfing like everybody else in Jacksonville. Yes, yeah. oh, don't get me on a surfboard because it's a, it's a no, no, no. <laughs> I like to body surf though, that's a lot oh, of fun. Oh, that's super fun. Yes. Well, how about you? Um, I'm a trombonist. Uh, I'm not originally from Jacksonville. Uh, I've lived in a lot of places throughout the United States. And uh, our, our story is similar. You know, you go to school for an instrument, you learn how to play it and how to be good at it and uh, then you slowly work your way into getting to play with multiple orchestras until you find uh, the right fit. And uh, for us, it's, uh, it's here in Jacksonville, and we, so we get to uh, perform with, with this orchestra, um, and, and we have an upcoming concert on, on New Year's Eve. That's our next event. Not too long ago, we had your music director, Courtney Lewis, on the show, and mm -hmm. he was talking about how they're, the, you guys are really trying to attract a younger audience. And in fact, yes. Tony and I were talking, I think you have a Whitney Houston program coming up for, after the new year. Yes, we do. What other things are you doing to try to attract you know, a younger demographic? I'm really glad that you, uh, you asked this question. Um, I've met a lot of ladies that say to me, I'd love to go to the symphony, but I don't know if I can get my husband to go. Right. And, all right, so there's, there's something there that says like, oh, well, that's, that's too uptight or, or hoity-toity, possibly. I'm not real sure if I want to be in that environment. But the cool thing about it is women love the symphony. They like to go. There's so much grander mm -hmm. to walking mm -hmm. into a huge concert hall in this building. It's romantic, but it's not mushy or sappy, and you get to enjoy great music, live music. You have a great TV show because it's live. We have great music because it's live and it's exciting. Get rid of that I'm jar full of 375 <laughs> oh, no, messages. Still, I still messages. like the jar. Okay, I still <laughs> like the jar. That's a great plug. I still yeah. like yes. the jar. I was like mesmerized. I know. Like, no. <laughs> well, come on, let's show. show. Yes. Okay. Now, among the changes, mm -hmm. something as simple as like the program book, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's changed too, where right. it's actually featuring you guys, mm -hmm. which has to be kind of cool because it sounds to me like it kind of is bringing personality where people are like, Oh, God, he's kind of cute. Oh, he is kind of younger. I know. <laughs> I'm sure they're saying that about you guys. Come on now. Well, I, I, I think so. lots of oh, women love the sympathy. <laughs> yes. But what, tell us about that and what, what that's all about. Well, what we're doing is we're trying to cross the boundary between the stage and the seats to allow the audience to get to know the musicians a little better. We are people, too. We go to the grocery store. We have hobbies. And you body surf. Yes, we body surf, <laughs> and you know we just we love to you know interact with people, and we love what we do. We love and to these play profile music. pictures. Look at that; they're gorgeous. gorgeous. They're not yes. just like a little headshot with your bio. Mm -hmm. This really showcases your personality. Right. So what's going on New Year's Eve? You know, people always look uh, look for stuff to do. What what's going on that you know? Well, you like champagne, right? Oh my gosh! Yeah, You're just too. saying the magic word right now. Absolutely. <laughs> How about chocolate-covered strawberries? Oh mm. my! Yeah. Okay, tell me more. Yes. <laughs> we have a great concert planned. Um, we've it, it starts at nine o'clock, and it, you know it's a little over an hour long. It's exciting music. It's dance music, waltzes, and things like this. There's going to be some um, music from uh, movies, um, so you get to enjoy a nice concert in a beautiful venue. And afterwards, there's a party. And fireworks the on the river. Oh, uh, that's right. Yes. That's right. So yes. we've got champagne and chocolate covered strawberries and music mm -hmm. and an after party. What's the after party? The after Is party. Is George Clooney going to be there? Uh, yeah, Alone? I, I, I invited him. <laughs> I invited him yeah. Without the wife? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's going to be great. It, we have a beautiful um, uh, spot where you can enjoy these things. It's on the water, it's a big glass atrium filled with art. And it looks, you can see, uh, you know, the Main Street Bridge uh, from there. So the fireworks actually explode right in front of where, where you right. are in the hall. So 
you get your champagne, you're with your date, you walk outside, and you enjoy the fireworks together after you've had this amazing yes. evening. That's I've got to know, how is Courtney Lewis to work with? He was just, I, I was really impressed with him when he was here. How is he to work under his direction? Uh, he's really great. He really knows the music and can really get into the soul of the music and revive what the composer had intended when he wrote the score to the music. And working with him has been really refreshing for a lot of the musicians, um, being able to play what we feel and to be able to express what the music is all about. Because he's pretty young too. Yeah, do you think mm -hmm. it's his youth and he's looking at it in a different way or why do you think he's bringing that kind of difference? I definitely think part of it is youth. Um, he's 30 years old, uh, mm -hmm. close to our age, mm -hmm. and our generation is coming out with ideas and we've had these ideas but we've been young and we've been known as being young and these ideas are, are coming to fruition and he is taking on the reign of you know being the leader to help us get our musical ideas out there to use uh, his his position to expand what we think what we believe what we love to do and I think that that youth does drive it a lot Yes, and orchestra music is based highly on tradition, music that was written 200 years ago, some 100 years ago, and building upon that tradition of generations upon generations. Now it is us, who, are, who is this young generation, to put our ideas into it and express mm -hmm. what this music can be, because a piece is never performed the same twice. Right. right. Well, John, right. thank you so, so much exciting. for coming today. I I'm know, a groupie. Really All right. Yeah. Thank you for having yeah. us. So it was a groupies pleasure. over here. Well, tickets <laughs> are still available for the toast to a New Year's show. For more information, just visit jacksymphony.org. Well, still ahead on the chat, the First Coast News You First Squad strikes again. We're going to show you more of the surprise gifts we are giving to people in our community. You don't want to miss it. They're always a tearjerker. Stay with us. Chad will be right back.